good morning. So, um, you know, I'm doing what I normally do first thing in the morning, which is read the, uh, the world's most unbearable news. Um, and it was time for me to come out to the garden because that's where I find, um, a lot of my conversations with the Lord happens and, um, I get peace out here. I do. I get a lot of peace. And uh, even though I am, I'm tearing up right now, I'm actually, I'm here because I'm happy. So these are tears of happiness because I've just had my conversation with the Lord today. And uh, he renews my joy and my mind and all those things. But um, I'm here in the garden and uh, I wanted to talk actually a little bit about the ecosystem that, um, that we have here. My garden's looking like a hot mess, uh, at least on the ground. Um, as you know, I have straw all over the all over the ground. I was originally going to take it all out, but then the monsoon rains hit and hit and hit us again. And I finally just said, you know what? It's too mucky. We live uh, where there's a lot of clay. And so I decided to leave it there so I'd have a place to step on without sinking into this really nasty clay dirt. Um, but within the straw that I've laid out, a bunch of grass, a bunch of weeds have grown. Uh, you know, I pick, I pick them out, but they grow back faster than, it's like, kind of like gray hairs. You know, you pluck them out, they come back faster with twice as many. So, <laughs> so I just decided to leave them alone. Um, picking out the ones that are, you know, really close to the plants, um, as best I can. But otherwise I just let it go. Um, the tops are not looking like a hot mess. In fact, those are what I'm really proud of. Um, but as far as the ecosystem goes here, we've had everything from aphids to grasshoppers. Um, what else? Squash bugs. We've had all kinds of um, <laughs> different bugs that just totally destroy a garden. And the, the other day I was realizing, you know, we have a good ecosystem here. Even though we have those things, the Lord has sent us some things that are helping to benefit our garden as well, to help take care of these issues um, when I can't. So he sent hummingbirds to help pollinate and bees and flies and ants. He sent all those things. But we also have toads and we have praying mantis and ladybugs. Um, and all kinds of other things. We have like fuzzy, what do they call velvet ants? They're really fuzzy. And they're really cute. Um, don't get near them though. <laughs> they, uh, like all these things have just worked together um, to help take care of my garden. Um, you know, I always wanted to have that picture perfect garden where there was like no weeds and like no bugs. But as I'm here, uh, freshly starting in a new location this year, I've realized, you know what, just let it be. <laughs> I mean, do what you have to do, um, you know, when things come up, but just let it be. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn you around here, but I'm going to show you what my garden has looked like since a month ago. And a month ago, actually no, about two months ago is when um, our last frost of the season hit us. And you may have seen my Facebook video me in tears <laughs> crying about how bad the um the last frost took out about half our garden but i'm going to show you um what our garden looks like now and i think you'll be amazed at the progress um you'll also see the straw with the grass and the weeds <laughs> um i don't mind i don't care it's not me not wanting to take care of it it's me just coming to the sense that you know what everything has a purpose everything um is here to help something else or to get rid of something else on its own these things here don't need a lot of our help we're just here to plant seeds kind of like in the world where we're to be a light to the to the world like we're to help plant those seeds um it's not our job to really water it it's not our job to force it to grow and um you know i've learned a lot of this same stuff just throughout our garden so i'm i'm tearing up with joy because it's those realizations and those aha moments that you have with the lord 
that um, he really is so good and he controls everything. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to step back a little bit, but I'm going to turn you around so you can see um, just how good our garden has turned out. And it's all thanks to the Lord. All right. So I'm on the outside of the garden today, but these are our sunflowers right here. And one's already starting to become happy. I'm super excited. It's our first one. It's also our tallest one um, that's starting to bloom. And we also have... Not on this one, the biggest one here. We also have the, our Emperor Scarlet Beans that are using this now as a pole. Obviously my, my fence is not tall enough. <laughs> that was a little bit of a snafu on my part. I didn't consider doing like a hooped garden, but all right. So it, it, like I said, it looks like a hot mess. But as you get down closer to it, you're gonna start seeing all the things that um, make this garden just so good. Now let me grass is coming up really nice over here. All right, I'm heading over to the inside. We have strawberries galore. These are all strawberries. And look just tons of strawberries we've got reds popping up everywhere which makes me really happy good shot of our beans and these are our asper or no I'm sorry not asparagus these are our artichokes this one here last I counted has seven growing in that of the four plants I have this is the only one that's growing anything right now and there actually might be more coming because I'm seeing some new some new head starts there which is awesome here this was our our volunteer plant that just somehow magically showed up over here I did not plant this one but that has turned out to be an acorn squash plant so I am excited because that is one of my favorite favorite squash this other one here by the windmill it has not produced any fruit yet it looks like it's starting to produce some flowers I have a feeling it's also another acorn squash here's our row of another uh, type of squash so we have the yellow straight neck, Gorilla Zucchini, and then a couple more of the yellow straight neck. And then back there is our yellow, yellow zucchini over there. In that corner, actually let me get it closer. Let's see if Mr. Toad is there. He moved yesterday. Oh, he's not here today. That's okay. I know he's around. He's here doing his thing. This is our butternut squash, which has not produced any pollinated fruits yet. So we'll see if we get anything out of it this year. Um, this is the first time I've ever planted butternut. So we'll see how it goes. Our Roma tomatoes are looking absolutely lovely. Sunflare tomatoes, we have a few. I have not grown this variety before, so we'll see how they turn out. And the, let me move around this way. You see all the little cherry tomatoes? Yeah, something got this. I have no doubt it was probably my puppy. And then this guy has over 50 um, tomatoes on him. And it's so big that I had to put. I mean, this is falling to the ground, but I had to put this underneath it just to hold its weight and make sure that these aren't touching the ground. But these are my big beefs, so that's a good, good hand size. Here's some more of those sunflower tomatoes. This one here, I honestly don't remember what kind 
this was. There's one right here. I guess we'll find out when it gets to full size. And this one here is my yellow pear. It already has a few growing there. This here is my corn. It is about chest high to me. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. We have acorn squash and spaghetti squash. We're gonna try spaghetti squash this year. This is another one that I have not quite yet, um, or I've not uh, planted before. So we have a couple, we have one there, that's our biggest one so far. Oh, and I hear the bees. <laughs> Good job, guys. You do your thing. And then more acorn squash are growing. We have another spaghetti. Oh, it looks like we got another one going right there. That's exciting. We have another one there. And <laughs> that one's really funny shape, but that's one right there too. So it looks like we have a lot of spaghetti squash coming to us. The humidity, between the humidity, the coolness of the day, me tearing up. It's got my, uh, my sinuses going. That's okay. I'm out here. This is my comfort zone. This is where I love to be. And um, this is what, <laughs> this is what we've got, guys. This is what the Lord has provided. I am so thankful. So even though it looks like a hot mess, underneath the surface, or I guess above the surface in this case, there's a lot of great things going on. So I'm happy to have shared this with you, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Have a good one.